Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today, can human rights be rooted in societies or governments? To answer this question, we first need to be clear on what's meant by human rights. When we speak of a human right, we mean specifically something that it's right for human beings to have, something which, if they're deprived of it, it would be right to help them get it and wrong to withhold it from them. Life, for instance, is a basic human right because if people withhold life from you or take life away from you, they've committed an evil act. Now, this particular question was brought up in response to my claim that human rights must come from the will of God. After all, the only reason why we have obligations to do anything is because someone has given us that obligation. It can't just be us obligating ourselves, because then there's no reason why we couldn't just change our minds, or why one person's rights wouldn't be different from the rights of another person. However, the commenter suggested that our rights could instead be based on the society we belong to or the government we're living under. The laws that we're protected by might be the very source and foundation of our human rights. The first problem with this idea is the same as for the idea that our rights could be based on us as individuals. Namely, this would mean that an action which was wrong in one part of the world or in one period of history would be right in another part or time period. Crimes would be totally subjective because they'd be based upon our subjective position in time and space. In short, murder, theft, rape, and so on wouldn't really be anything more than infractions of the local customs, and rather than being actually evil, they'd really be closer to being tacky or unfashionable, like mispronouncing a bunch of French words in Paris. Clearly, morality isn't like this. It's not just tacky to murder an innocent person. However, there's another big specter lurking behind this notion that societies can bestow fundamental human rights. Namely, if they can bestow fundamental human rights, they can take them away. If that is the case, then none of the tyrants who ever oppressed the innocent, and none of the dictators who ever built death camps, did anything morally wrong. Remember, Human rights determine what others are obligated to let us have, and if a society or government could just decide that we no longer have the right to property, it would no longer be evil for the government to steal from us. Do you really think that's the case? If they decide we don't have the right to live, does it become moral for them to kill people indiscriminately? As it says in the Declaration of Independence, men are endowed with certain inalienable rights by their creator, not by the local government officials. Laws, societies, and governments can't do anything to alter what's moral and what isn't. And they can't give us any additional human rights, or, thank God, take any of them away. It is still wrong for them to kill, steal, and oppress, no matter what, because our human rights are founded only in Almighty God. Next, can morals be based on the general well-being of society? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.